Hello family, this is Greg coming to you once again from faithsmessenger.com. We are continuing our series on dynamic scripture verses. Dynamic scripture verses. This is part two of a, of a, of a verse we started yesterday, Hebrews 11.1. 1. We're going to be studying the second part of that verse. Hebrews 11.1 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. We're going to talk about the evidence of things not seen today. I was talking to a pilot this morning. Um, this particular pilot had been flying for over 40 years. Now, I love to fly. I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a pilot, per se. I'd love to learn one day. But uh, this particular pilot was talking about how he can see weather cells that uh, are so huge, you can't fly around them. You just have to fly through them. And he can see these cells on his radar, and he can fly through the, the weather cell to such a degree that he can weave his way through this particular weather. And although it's a great so storm in size, he can maneuver the plane around through this cell to get to the other side and not even get his windshield wet from the storm. Um, you can't, if you were to look outside the window, of course, you can't see the cell. The radar tells him that it's there. It tells him the density of it. It tells him the size of it. It tells him the circumference of it. It tells him everything he needs to know about something that's not seen. And I liken that to the second part of Hebrews 11, 1. Faith is the evidence of things that we can't see. In that illustration with the pilot and his radar, his radar shows him evidence of things that can't be seen. And likewise, the Word of God is our evidence of things not seen. There are so many things that we will be challenged with in this life. There's so many problems. There's so many different enemies to our faith. There's so many different obstacles we'll have to overcome. Some of which, most of which, we have no idea we operated through because we operate by the Word of God. And when you're operating by the Word of God, it's akin to operating by that, that radar scope that the pilot uses. He can see the turns to make, he can see the appropriate maneuvers to take to navigate to the other side of that storm cell by his radar. We can see how to navigate through the other side of our problem through God's Word. We are not moved by what we see. We are not moved by what we feel. We are only moved, or should only be moved, by our radar system, by our detector of what's going on out there, which is the Word of God. So I would encourage you to walk by faith. Walk by the Word and not by your senses. Your senses will lie to you. Your senses aren't telling you the truth. Walk by faith. Walk by the Word and not by the things you can see. And you will see that you'll navigate to the other side of your problem unscathed until the next problem comes up. So I want to leave you with that today, and I hope that encouraged you. I want to encourage you, if you haven't done so already, to download a copy of our free ebook on encouragement, which is located in the link in the description box below. Now, I wrote this book several years ago as an encouragement to the body of Christ. I know that there are many of us going through things right now, and we could, we could use some encouragement some inspiration, some support as we journey through our faith challenges. So once again, if you haven't done so already, be sure and pick up a copy located in the description box below. And with that, I will leave you and I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.